We're back with another fashion video. Jackie's joining me today because we're comparing one size fits all jeans. We have a cheap pair, we have an expensive pair, and then a really expensive pair. Come on in, Jackie. All right. Let's try them on. Or let's actually talk about what we're doing. What jeans? Yes, starting with this one. <laughs> Comes in a box, can't go wrong. This right here is the one brand when we did the one size fits all fashion. So Everybody. many of you, so many of you recommended this brand. Like I was saying. Could be awesome. Yeah. One size. Fits always. <laughs> this is just your highs and lows, guys. It'll, it's got you covered. This retails for $19.99, 66% cotton, 31% polyester, and 3% elastane. And these are Lots of stuff going on. a mid rise, right? Comfortable mid rise fit conforms to your shape and height. Okay. Second pair. So this is the pair we already did, the Good American. The reason why I wanna include these as well, just because we have already worn them several times, washed them, been in them, and we can kind of vouch how the quality is. Right. So this right here is the Always Fits by Good American in deep blue, zero two, I believe. Yes. And 139 US dollars. Materials, 87.5% BCI cotton, 5% recycled cotton, 4% polyester, and then 3.5% Lycra. Third and final pair for this video. This is by the brand Frame. This is their Le One Skinny Jeans in the shade Keller. Retail for 218 US dollars. 63% organic cotton, 27% cotton, 5.5% recycled polyester, and 4.5% elastane. These right. look tiny when you hold them up. Yeah, like, do they stretch good? Oh boy, this is gonna be fun to stretch. I don't know, look at that button. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like it's struggling. It's gonna go flying. But what does it say, what sizes does it say you can be when you wear the when you wear these? I can't remember what it was. Either up to six or an eight. Let's put on the very first pair, the MyFit. How do these jeans look? I mean, they could look worse. Yes but they don't look great. I don't think they're flattering. No. At least they fit both of us. They do fit bo both of us, yes. I think very easily is what I'm trying to say. We're not like struggling. No, but that's part of the fit or the look issue is that they look like they don't fit because the button is yes. this really <laughs> awful, you're too big to wear these pants thing. Like I barely have trying to, to get away. Yeah. These jeans don't fit me anymore is what they look like. Yeah. Even the buttons, they're going sideways. They're not just laying flat mm -mm. on both of us. And I think that's how, that's what, kind of what it looked like when I was taking them out of the package. Next look, stitching. Oh, this. <laughs> Killer. I seriously laughed out loud when she walked out. <laughs> her pants were going over her ankles. <laughs> over her heels. Heels. <laughs> Halfway down her foot. <laughs> yeah. Literally. But honestly, if I were to wear these with like boots or booties, I would just keep them like this. They're yeah. nice and tucked tight. in. Yeah, exactly. Go skiing. Yeah. It's like, uh, remember those pants that had like the that's, stirrups that's on That's what my snowsuit has. Yeah. The stirrups, literally. There you go. So the other look is, I think the wash of the jeans is actually quite nice. Yeah. I think it's flattering. But then something right here, right here, and then the back, I don't understand the pockets. I understand they're trying to be, you know, trying to create that curvature around the bootay to make it look perky or more round. I feel like it makes the jeans look cheap. Yeah. Even though they are 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. And the stitching is a good part of that as well. Yes. Another fit, I mean feel, they're itchy on both of us. Oh, yeah. Mine is really bad right here on both like my knees. Just that something material, it's very scratchy and itchy. It is very stretchy. I mean, I can like, Oh yeah, like they feel comfortable. I'm gonna be completely honest with you. They're so stretchy. Yeah, they're not, they're not cons constricting. No. So quality, the stitching is completely off. I mean, it just looks bad. One thing, pockets are fake. Real in the back and very stretchy. <laughs> so that's a good thing. <laughs> but put, you know, anything you want to back there. Yeah. Overall, in my opinion, for me personally, not my style of jeans. I think they're way too thin, too expensive for what they are. They just don't look good. And they smell like Gas. gasoline. Let's put on the next pair. All right, now that we're in our good American jeans, let's talk about the fit and feel. Still fit, really comfortable to me. Mm -hmm. I've washed them three times maybe. They don't feel like they've shrunk or anything or not gotten, 
or gotten less comfortable than they were when I first tried them on. I wore them three times before washing them and they felt very similar, just like I feel like with leggings. They didn't really lose their stretch. Yeah. They don't lose their shape. And that's, yeah, that's one thing I think a lot of people are concerned about, like these types of jeans that do have a lot of stretch. They feel stretch throughout the day. Yeah. They still feel like they're hugging like they should, but they're not, you know, yeah. too stretchy. Another thing I wanna talk about is the fit of these. Sometimes, because they are stretchy, I sometimes have to hike them up throughout the day, especially right here in the back, just right here, because there is a little bit of extra fabric. They kind of hang it down just a tad. And on me, I feel like, same thing, I have to hike them up because I feel like this part wants to roll, like if I sit a certain way or whatever, they just wanna roll down right here. So I, I do the same thing, pull them up. Size wise, I think they're still very nice and true to size even after washing. Like we said, the look after washing, you know, wearing these in, I think they still look brand new, still look very similar. One thing is I even nitpicked last time was there's some threading that wasn't precise, that I could cut off and make it look prettier around right here, around the butt loops and the loop right here in the front. And you were saying after you washed. After I washed, they, it started to really, it's not like bad. So I feel like your jeans, you had some issues with the pocket. It's still, it's not going That's away a, just like last time. That's a quality issue. This pocket wants to mm -hmm. like come out yeah. for some reason. I still, $139. I don't know. I'm happy around the $100 price point for them after yeah. having them. I guess the negatives is because they are made to fit you for different sizes. Yeah. So maybe if they were, I would like to try like, do, does Good American have like a regular knot? Yes. Fit all? I would yeah. like to see what the quality of those would be like. Yeah. Let's try on the Le, last. The frame. The la frame. <laughs> Let's see how they fit. Here we are. What do you think? Fit and feel. They are tight on me. They were size two to six. I'm right on the edge of that. I mean, I'm like, sometimes I wear a six, sometimes I wear an eight, just depends. These are snug, but not uncomfortable. I think they definitely look as tight as the first pair and they feel tight and they're long as the first pair for me. Yes. But they definitely feel better. They're not itchy. No. Not scratchy. No. But, they don't feel better than the Good American. No, what's the price difference? One, 139 and 218. 218, yeah, I just mm -mm. personally don't nope. feel like it's worth the extra. Nope. They're not blowing me away nope. anymore nope. than the Good Americans are. The one thing I did say, I like the pockets in here better. Yeah. <laughs> They're softer. Yeah. <laughs> what is that? Like, it's, it's such a soft cotton. It is really soft. I think this right here is the maybe some of the organic cotton. The quality is a little bit better though. I'm not yes, seeing any weird is. stitching stuff. Even right here, look look at the difference with yeah. the, the loop. It's so much better. And then the actual belt loops, everything is really pristine. There is no extra stitching in there like you saw with the Good American. So I will say that quality it's is a- Bumped up a yes, little bit. Yes, it's bumped up. You can see that it's a little bit better. The one thing- It's the same size band. Same size band. But these don't claim to be high-waisted. No, these are mid-rise. These are mid-rise, so yeah. that makes sense for these. And I feel like these are similar right here, right below the belly button for me. Yeah, they feel, if those are high-rise, then they're the, like, the same. How are they high-rise? I those don't know. mid-rise. Really? Color is very nice, very nice deep wash. I actually like these, this is a little bit more blue in mm -hmm. comparison to the Good American. Good American has a little bit more black mixed in with blue. These are more blue Which hue. ones do you like better? I like the Good American. I like the color of the Good American. Same. Better. And honestly, I think the overall look, the way they hit on the ankle for your your height and my height, the Good American fits better. Like I'm 5'3", you're, a little longer. you're five seven. Yeah. Even on you, they bunch up a little bit. Yeah. I don't feel as comfortable in these. I'm, I'm not embarrassed to be seen in them, but I don't feel, I do feel like a little slightly poured in and I'm having some weird fat gathering on the <laughs> back of my legs. Andre calls it the sausage. Yeah, um, looks like I'm what sausage casing. It's not not the greatest look. Yeah, overall, I think for the price, I expected a little bit more. I do like that I am seeing a little bit of a higher quality standard from both A to B. They're very similar in quality versus Good American. I feel like you had a little bit more of stitching issues where I had more of like belt loop issues mm -hmm. and just quality is not consistent. With these, it looks very consistent. Well, obviously it's not, for me, like not 
enjoying these as well as Good American. It has nothing to do with the fact that I'm at the top of the size because she's in the middle yeah. of the size range and yeah. they're still not as comfortable, yeah. right? They're not as comfortable. Okay. I like the Good American better. But yeah, overall, for all of these jeans, there is definitely not one size fits all. If, no way. If anything, it, one size fits a certain bracket, like the Good American is doing, Frame is doing, and my fit, the first pair, is definitely in between a legging and a jegging. It's not even a jean in my opinion, just because the material is so thin. But I see, I see why a lot of people like them. I feel like I would like that pair of jeans in a full black or even the lighter jean option. It just looks really cheap. Like it's supposed to look like a jean, but it's not a jean. But Good American still wins. And yes, they're definitely an investment, but. I feel after wearing them, I wore, I've worn them a lot. I've only washed them three times, but I've worn them probably three times before each yeah. wash. And I don't feel like they're, they're not wearing down or anything. Yeah. Like I feel like they'll probably last a good long while. Yeah. Obviously they're not gonna fit everybody and they're not gonna fit the same, but I like that they're trying to do something. Yeah. Like, even for myself, like I don't have to keep buying jeans over and over again just because either I gain weight, lose weight, in between, having a bloaty day, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? Like they still feel good and they fit good. Yeah, even if they're not one size fits all, they're being innovative mm -hmm. and they are more comfortable than I would say a regular s specific size pair yes. of jeans. If you wanna buy them online, you know they're gonna fit you. Yeah can be like, oh, well, I, want, I don't know if I wear an eight in them or a six in that size yeah. or in that brand. Yeah, these videos are so fun. I love them, especially these types of videos because you really can see and like feel the difference from right. inexpensive to expensive to really expensive and would I actually pay this much money? I was looking forward to these and I'm not as excited about them anymore. I'm, I'm just like, well, yeah, let's take them off. I'm good, I'm good with that in my life. Yeah. All right, you guys, thank you for watching. Spending time with myself and Jackie, and we'll see the next one very soon. Bye.